you know, that decision is going to bother me for the rest of the episode. Oh, what's happening here? The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Awesome. Aww. Samuel seems like a nice person, you know. He does. Oh. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? Mm -hmm. well, How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Oh. Maybe I was wrong. Um. Okay, I am not sure. What? What? I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Hmm. I definitely won't play with this thing again. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. I know. And too easy to sneak into. I know, right? We're right we're here right now. That was actually kind of weird. Uh, I don't know what to think about those pictures of Rachel. You never know, I guess. Food waste. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. <laughs> See, like I said, I'm probably not gonna get all the... Oops, here it is. All the pictures. A donut. Okay, we're looking for a donut or oh that's isn't that a squirrel? I don't know. Okay. I might make a separate video where I find all the photos. Maybe. Oh, what what's this? <laughs> Can't Blackwell oh. have at least one no football zone? <laughs> Why was I so excited? <laughs> I didn't see this. I didn't see the text, so. Oh, birds. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Samuel. I don't know what to think of him. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. Maybe they just want us to believe he's weird or whatever, but... I don't know. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Right. <gasps> oh, that's what... Okay. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. True. Get your shit together. Stop global warming. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. Mm -hmm. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Oh. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. A spirit animal. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Hey, that's interesting. Yeah, because the animal's been looking at her, you know, and leads us to where we we're supposed to go. Okay, good to know. That's really interesting. I like this. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but... Oh, I'm scared. Why are there <gasps> photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. Some people care. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found. 
Like you. That's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. Um... I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Yeah, I'm going to go back. I don't want to cry. Hey. Hey, Samuel. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. I just... What? I have this strange idea. He talked about spirit animals, and she saw a spirit animal after she got this power. What if he's got some power, and that's why he sees a spirit animal, and he knows that she can remove first in time who knows so okay another mess okay don't okay oh. we're not gonna talk about Rachel I so don't of course you will um yeah okay ah there's Samuel okay, yeah. up early already commuting with the critters <laughs> There are so many theories, and I don't even know where to begin. Hey. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment. So talk. Kate's video. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. <sighs> so, I can rewind and say something different? Let's see. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even... Oh. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. I see. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. This is nice. See, I just wanted to be mean once. I don't know why. Ah, <sighs> well... Well, that conversation didn't suck. Give peace a chance. This is good. We're gonna keep doing this for now. Oh. Oh, no! Consider this a final polite warning. <sighs> oh, oh, this is Nathan's father. What? This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and black some will be met with many lures. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, what have I done? Oh no. Oh no, this is. No. Okay, this is. Oh no, I shouldn't have told her to go to the police. Oh sh. Oh no. So this. Was this what happened to Rachel and those other students name, you know, what he saw at the end of the episode? Oh no, was, oh no, I've done something terrible. Oh, no, what have I done? <laughs> no. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Max, come on over here. Jeez. Warren is out <laughs> and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. Isn't that 
kind of obvious, Max. Oh, she's wearing a different sh shirt. I don't know why I didn't even realize that until now. Whoa. Max, it's over here. Oh, I'm so scared because of Kate. I did something terrible, I think. Oh. Lauren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Oh. Mm. Thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. Yeah. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Yep. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. <laughs> How do you know her? They're just a pirate. <laughs> no, we're gonna... An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. <laughs> Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I mean, we've already been... I might as well just tell him. He's gonna get into this anyway, I think. <sighs> We're making bad decisions here, I believe. <laughs> I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Huh. Let's go ape! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Awesome. Warren is out and about already too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies instead. <gasps> I'll text you later. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh no, <laughs> no. Uh. Well. <sighs> I'm sorry, Brooke. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna see what he's gonna have to say if we rewind. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Hey! Oh! Okay, there we go. Wow. Oh. You're. Even though you left. And yeah, I wanted. Tell An me. old friend. Okay, well, well. I bet. <sighs> I. Weird. Oh, uh, okay, we'll, we'll see. No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. No, oh, I have to see if Brooke wants to go into the drive-in, Max. Maybe I'll see you later. Um, no, we'll should go with him. Because even though Brooke's gonna be get like jealous, it's still not cool to. I mean, it's obvious that Lauren already likes Chloe, and she becomes a third wheel. So, Lauren. Wow. She's you know don't let her. By the way. Oh. Um, You're. Let's not Even lead, you, left you know, let's not lead her on. And I Weird. <laughs> Everything is on the left. Yes. Well, that I'm sorry, Brooke. I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies instead. I'll text you later. I'm sorry, Brooke. I'm so sorry. Okay. And... No. Dang, things are happening. I'm not happy with, uh, with my decisions at all.
David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. Oh. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Oh my. Evan? Okay, so not a lot of things that happened, but it was still really intense in a way, you know. I wonder what's gonna happen. I hope the people could get together and go, you know, against Nathan and his family to bring, you know, justice. So I hope that I made the right decision. So far, oh, that's Zachary, and uh, I don't remember her name now. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot her name. Oh, well. <sighs> we're gonna see Chloe. This is exciting. I like Chloe. Even Art a lot here too. The diner, so we're gonna need it. Talk about going back oh. in time. The diner looks exactly the same. How far can I get? Go. Nope, I don't want to go there. Okay, fine. <laughs> Just wanted to see. Okay. Well, oh, that's the RV, right? I think so. Yeah. Yep, I'm ready to cash my lottery ticket. Awesome. Glad somebody is. <laughs> Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. Be a she looks busy and stressed. Yeah. My lottery ticket. Can't wait to be rich. Yep. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. Probably. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here, waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Sweet. Oh. Running late, grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you, somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. If you make it by noon. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna need her mom. Cool. Flyers. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Save our bay. And the man-made dawn bay. Okay. It's too bad people don't care enough about... Um, he looks this. like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. I think there's just too many people, you know? Nerve, so we can't keep up with it anymore. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did good. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. 
Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Oh, they've done so much bad things to the town. The Prescotts have a lot of power. Yeah. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. Oh. If that tells you much. It does. They own my school. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Yeah. I think I've talked my quota for the year. I see. He looks like, like a photo a... of okay, the okay. classic Arcadia sometimes, Bay you know, they... crusty fisherman. Sometimes their thoughts you know, change after you talk to them, so I just wanted to be sure. So do we have... I have really no clue, okay? I'm... No idea what all these photos are. I'm gonna miss a lot of them, like I said. Read all this. Okay. Yay, okay. I'm curious. Is this still there? Obviously nobody took my advice. Aww. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Oh! <gasps> Should I go? Uh, stop that! Stop! No barky. What's gonna happen? I'm curious. Okay. I'll see. Fine. I wanted to know. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Let's go to the Okay, 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 okay. Hey, dog. Okay, fine. I won't talk to you then. Uh, and I'm in love with this game. Like, just looking at it. Oh, newspaper. I wonder if they explained that snow. We'll see. Snow? Well, that's a good start to the story. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall. Snowfall? <laughs> the briefly hit Arcadia Bay, Oregon, this week. Oregon. Oregon, sorry. Hey! Newspapers are going to be retro soon. I thought they already were retro. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! There aren't any real nice clouds. They're just like... I don't know what's up with the clouds these days. They don't look like clouds anymore. <laughs> Snow was odd. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. Hey, it's not the bullshit. paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Look, what's. Hey, wow. That's important, you know? You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Come on. Newspapers are going to be retro soon. Excuse me. I have to read my horoscope. <laughs> the horoscope. You don't believe in global warming, but you believe in horoscopes. Okay. Excuse me. Can you believe... How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or- This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. <laughs> oh, okay. Good talk. Good talk. Nope, I don't want to go there. Yes, you do. Fine. Oh. Aw. Hey. 
poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Okay. Um, oh. Joy's Pri Prescott family. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. <laughs> that whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Why did Those they change? Those days are dead. Lack anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Uh, Almost. No, why did I do that? I no, something's going to happen. But yeah, what? Right, when I played the first episode. And, you know, after getting that message from your mom about, you know, how the principal, you know, had called and, well, and Chloe, you know, said that I shouldn't trust the principal and all that, I wanted to, you know, change and don't tell anyone. You know what I mean? Don't, and don't tell the principal because, yeah, that's what I, that's when I realized, you know, that she was right and was gonna help at all so since I already told um, the principal anyway and uh, and now I told Kate to talk to the police and no what if something something's gonna happen to Kate right <laughs> I promise I'm gonna make a second playthrough when We'll see what happens when you don't tell the principal and you don't tell Kay to go talk to the police. Because I feel, it feels, now it feels like that's a better, the better option, you know, the better way to go. And she's right. This, this homeless lady, she's right. This is what, how it's like, you know, all the powerful families. It's all about money. That's just so ridiculous. Anyway. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. Hmm. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work, out of home, like me. Oh, I'm sorry to I'm hear sorry. that. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. That's sweet. In you know, a sad way, it's still sweet. And you know, inspiring, actually. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. Mm -hmm. I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Yeah. Married to a real prick. Oh, she thinks he's... Okay, this is interesting. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once. Ouch! Asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. No, I wanted to talk about Chloe. Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. Fine. I like her. She's true, you know? Oh. <gasps> what happened? Oh, awesome. Which picture is this? Oh my, I missed so many pictures. Oh, the sun. I can take a picture of the sun. Oh no, I missed so many pictures. Okay. 
Wow. Um, it was this sign, but I don't know. I don't see any. Oh, there we go. Good. That sign reminds me of so many times I ate here with Chloe and my family. When we were happy. Aww. Sweet. Let's look at it. Okay. I missed free photos. <laughs> Oh, that, that's probably Chloe. Okay, well, I'm gonna make a video, most likely. I'm probably gonna do it, where you can find these photos that I missed, because I wanna collect everything. So, okay, we're done here. Let's go inside. This is exciting to finally meet her mom. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. I thought it was gonna be a mm, save point. Makes me feel 13 point. again. Dang, I thought it was gonna be a save point. Okay. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Sweet. Um. Oh. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Welcome to Penny's dead. Uh, okay. Missing. So this is just. You just go all out again? Okay. I see. People. Fishermen. These fishermen are so damn quiet. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, Aww. then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. This sucks. Weird lady, why is she weird? I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Everyone seems so sad. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. <laughs> Probably. This guy has serious corners. <laughs> You've seen him on TV. It's the same one. Why does that oh. so not sound fun? <laughs> I might make Chloe check this out with me. Oh, oh the Bigfoot thing. Oh. Maybe the person that <laughs> took the picture had Bigfoot as their spirit animal. <laughs> no, but seriously, wasn't there like a weird uh, foot footprints, you know, up there? The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. No. Does not. T shirt. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. <laughs> You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. True. Hey. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Ew, that guy looks unpleasant. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Um, oh. Hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Should I? Yeah. 
I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Um... Uh... <laughs> he kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. I see. Fair enough, I so guess. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Um, about that? Uh, wow. Who told you? I mean, come on, obviously they get to hear about this stuff, you know? Oh, right. I guess, um, Davey reported. Right? That's not good. No big thing. <laughs> Is that really a big thing? At least she was chilling in her room. How do you know she was chilling in oh. her room? Oh, you just said so. She might have been getting high or getting her spray cans ready or whatever. I'd like to think the best of it, but she's now in the Arcadia Bay Police database. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. This is so... No. <laughs> no, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... Right. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... Our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. Oh. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. Frank. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Okay. Um. <gasps> what? There's Kate. Marsh, love you a long time. Hmm. Kitty a gay sock stuck. Thank you, redneck poet. <laughs> Ooh. Photo. <laughs> That's nice. Or, or did oh, or is it going to go that way? Probably. So I just missed one photo. I guess. Uh. Racial. Gross. Owes me a. Ew. People. Before kissing the floor. Jeez. That graffiti has been here forever. <sighs> I want to write something nice. Can't you? I want to write a nice something nice, you know. Mm. Justin. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am. Oh! <laughs> I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You cracked me up, Maxter. <laughs> of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. Hooking he got there up. first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, no. Max. Um, did they just do it for... Right, wasn't it Trevor that she, she thought was cute, right? Justin is such a mellow dude. 
Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. It, you thought Trevor was cute, so she just thought it was cute and nothing else. She doesn't like Trevor, I guess. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. I did. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. <laughs> How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. I see. See you around, Max. Sure. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Okay, no. Picture. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. It looks fun. I guess. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. She's always best friend. Nice. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. <laughs> oh, and no, this is so depressing, everything. I, you know, I like it because it's depressing, you know, but I like all the, the themes they're, this game, you know, is about. Drool, want everything. This is probably gonna become one of my absolute favorite games. Truckers have such a romantic life, always on the road. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Ooh. <laughs> Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. I was just How trying to Joyce be funny. Sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. <laughs> Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. You don't need to be so angry. Oh. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. Don't they? I think it's everybody are taking out their stuff on others. This I sucks. wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Okay, fine. Just wanted to like share you guys up. And okay, let's sit. Oh, no, I can't do anything there. Okay. Oh, okay. 